All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right in these times that we're in. Now, today I want to discuss about clinging on to God, holding on dear life for the Lord, holding on to God's word, his presence, just holding on to the word of God, clinging on to the most high. It's important that we be clingy towards God. You ever got into a relationship or you saw another group of people and you saw them in a relationship and you saw how clingy they were towards each other? You saw how close-knit they were. You saw how uptight and intimate and up close they were with each other. We should be more clingy to God. We should cling on to the Lord. Like, let's say you meet a girl, you got a new girlfriend, and she's all clingy. You know what I mean? She doesn't want to let go of you. She hates when you go off to work or she hates when you, you know, go hang out with your boys, right? She's Because she's clingy. She clings on to you. She loves you. She's attached to you. You see what I'm saying? And you should have that same approach and direction when you're with your relationship with God. You should be clingy with God. You should be clinging on to the Lord, his presence, his word, everything. You know, when you pray, you should be crying out to him. You should be calling out. You should be calling out his name. You know what I'm saying? We got to be more clingy towards God. That strengthens our relationship. When we show that that love inside and out. And not for vain, not for vanity, not for a show, not to impress people, but really personally, in our in our lives with God, we gotta cling on to God. We gotta cling on to the faith. <laughs> we gotta hold on to that faith, right? We gotta hold on and be steadfast. We gotta be zealous, right? We have to be. We have to cling on to His Word. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are losing their way. A lot of people are walking away from the faith. A lot of people aren't fighting the good fight. And we have to keep up the good fight, all right? We have to keep our faith. We have to keep being clingy on the most high. We have to keep holding on. Because this world and these things and these influences and things around us tends to uh, affect your relationship with the most high. It tends to try to get in between. You see what I'm saying? But who can separate one from the most high, right? Who can separate the love of it? You know what I mean? Are idols, are you worshiping things? Are you clinging on to your idols? Some people cling on to their cell phones more than they cling on to God. Some people cling on to social media more than they cling on to God. Some people cling on to their career or their job or their own personal stuff more than God. You're supposed to cling on to God. Nothing and nobody is worthy like him. Nobody is on the most highest level. We're supposed to cling on to him. He's the one. He is the he is a jealous God. We should have nothing before him. Okay, we should have not. We should not worship any other God. We should not worship any other idols before him. Okay. Yes, the Most High is a jealous God. All right. He wants us to cling on to him and his word. He wants us to trust him. He wants us to be all in with him. Yeah, you know, not not one foot in, one foot out. Not no halfway stuff. Not no half stuff and stuff. Not no lukewarm stuff. All right. We, we got to be on fire for the most high, right? We got to be passionate about the Lord. You know what I mean? Cling on to God, man. We need to do that. It's just a, a little reminder, you know, we got to cling on to him. Because a lot of people are going through the motions. A lot of people, you know, letting their mood swings get the best of them. A lot of people are letting their mood swings affect their worship and their prayer life. Uh, uh You got to keep that prayer life on point. Your relationship with the most high got to be zealous and steadfast and joyful you know what i'm saying got to be beautiful you can't just be going through the motions you can't just be going you know halfway half step and stuff it has to be with all your might all your willpower right all your strength comes from the lord you give your strength back to him by glorifying him and you cling on to him you really lead people to him as well all right let your leadership and your relationship with god rub off on others that's what it's about you know what i'm saying so i just want to read a few scriptures about clinging on to god and just go from there. All right, let's see. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 20. You shall fear the Lord your God. You shall serve him and cling to him, and you shall swear by his name. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13, verse 4. You shall follow the Lord your God and fear him, and you shall keep his commandments, listen to his voice, serve him, and cling to him. <coughs> You see how we should serve him and hear his, listen to his voice? Not hear his voice, listen to his voice, see? Serve him, be, be, be cling on to him. We got to submit to the Lord. We have to obey the most high, all right? 
the book of Joshua, chapter 23, verse 8. But you are to cling to the Lord your God as you have done to this day. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse 22. For if you are careful to keep all the commandments, all this commandment, which I'm commanding you to do, to love the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways and hold fast to him. The book of Second Kings, chapter 18, verse 6. For he clung to, to the Lord. He did not depart from following him, but kept his commandments, which the Lord had commanded Moses. So we got to cling on to God. The book of Psalm, chapter 63, verse 8. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 13, verse 11. For as the waistband clings to the waist of a man, so I made the whole household whole household of Israel and the whole household of Judah cling to me, declares the Lord, that they might be for me a people for renown, for renown, for praise and for glory. But they did not listen. We have to listen to the Most High, y'all. We got to obey and we got to cling on to him. When you're in a relationship with someone, right, you want to you want them to you want to listen to them, right? You want to hear them out and they want the same in return. We we know we have such this one way street with everything in life. We have such this one way uh, path about things and dealing with people. When we're dealing with God, it's not no one way street with him. Just as much as you pray out to God and you cry out to God and you want him to answer all your prayers and bless you and give you this and give you that. And you want him to hear you out and do miraculous things. You got to hear him out, too. You got to obey him. You got to listen to him. There's a lot of things God's speaking to your life. There's a lot of things God's showing you and telling you to do. And you're turning a blind eye to it. You're ignoring it. You're not regarding it. Right. That's why your movements are stagnant and slow because you're not listening to the Lord. You need to cling on to God and listen to him and obey him. Because just as much as we pray to God for stuff and we cry out to him and pray and all that, there's a lot of things he's showing us in dreams, visions, signs, wonders, things around us, people, reactions. He's showing us signs. He's showing us things. He's speaking to us. And the real truth, the real question is, are we really listening to God? Are we obeying him? Are we watching all the signs and wonders he's doing for us? Are we truly moving in the spirit or are we moving in the flesh? Are we moving by the Holy Spirit or, or, by we, or are we moving by mood swings? We have to reflect on that and ask ourselves that daily. You know, is this God's will? Well, and what, I, what I'm doing, is this God's will or is it my will? You see, so we have to really look in the mirror spiritually and we have to reflect and um, evaluate ourselves and our actions and our daily uh, motives, you know. Are we truly clinging on to God? Are we truly obeying him are we truly listening to him are we truly serving him are we being clingy towards god no everybody's clingy to their cell phone everybody's clingy to social media are we clingy to the lord something we have to reflect on and, and wonder so let's let's cling to god let's cling to his word all right let's strengthen our relationship let's strengthen our bond with the lord i pray to god that whoever listens to his message i pray that you get baptized you start your life over for the lord I pray that things get better for you and that you step into new beginnings. I claim prosperity and peace and love and comfort all over you. I claim new beginnings for you in Jesus' name. I got much love for y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. Peace.